So till now, we've seen many examples where we have used an estimate, where we use numbers that are close to the exact numbers, but not the exact numbers. And they have very well served the purpose in that situation, whether maybe we do not have the precise value, maybe we do not need the precise value, or maybe estimation just saves time. Now let's quickly conclude on what is an estimate before we move on. It's simply a number that's close enough to the exact number. It gives us a fair idea of the exact value. It has to be reasonable, means it should neither be way too high from the exact value nor way too below that. Now, we let's see certain words that when, they, when we come across these words, we, see, we know that the number in that statement would be an estimate or a number that would be close enough but not the exact number. Approximately. Now, we generally say the population of India is approximately 1.3 billion. Now, you know that the exact population is, we do not even have it. Even if we have it, that's also an, a very close estimate. So, this number 1.3 billion is, is, is an estimate and we've said that it's approximately 1.3 billion. So, we've used the word approximately. Now, roughly, let's say, I'd say that I went and I shopped for roughly 2,000 rupees. My actual bill could be slightly more or less than 2,000, but saying roughly 2,000 indicates that, that it's around 2,000. Yes, now the third word in itself is around. Um, let's say the distance between Mumbai and Delhi is around 1,400 kilometers. It's a very simple example. The actual distance could be very close. Maybe in the last video we've seen was 1,384. So, 1,400 is a reasonable estimate. So, we say the distance is around 1,400 kilometers. Now near, um, let's say we travel by train, we take around 20, 22 hours. So let's say uh, if somebody were to ask you how much time would it take, you would say that it takes nearly one day or it takes nearly 24 hours to reach Delhi by via train. So we use the word nearly. And lastly, we use the word over. Let's say, continuing this example, a passenger train carries over 1000 people in its journey. It's over 1,000. Maybe it carries 1,100, 1,200 people or maybe slightly more than 1,000. So using, so in the statement when we say over 1,000, that's a, it's a good way to give an estimate. Now let's move on. We've seen these five words that when you come across, remember they indicate the numbers to be estimates. And lastly, the symbol. Now generally when we put this horizontal strokes, you know that it's equal to, but when it's an estimate, when we are doing operations, we in the future videos, you'll see that we use the squiggly equal to sign. So just remember that for now. 